A while back, I did a 21 day consistency challenge, which I will link in the description box below this video. But today I wanted to talk a little bit about the idea of consistency and how valuable it can be for us achieving our goals and being able to create and to go after the things that we would like to go after in our lives. The first idea regarding this is that small actions can lead to big results. Does anything that we do just happen by itself? Of course not. We have to do something in order to get the thing that we are trying to get. Things don't just magically appear. If we want to write a book, it doesn't write itself. If we want to learn a language, we can't just suddenly magically understand and be able to communicate in that language without actually learning, studying, and practicing it. Everything we do requires something from us. It requires us to give something in order to get that thing in return. And these small actions, if we are continuing to act, it builds exponentially over time until eventually we are speaking that language. We have written that book. We have run the race that we have been training for. Everything can happen if we take the first step and then the next and then the next and then the next. And then soon we are to that place that we were trying to get to. And along that way, it's not just about getting to that place. It's about enjoying the journey of getting to that place. Of course, we're excited when we write a book and finish it and we get to look at it and hold it and there it is. But what was really fun about writing that book? Was it holding the book at the end? As exciting as that may be, it's more about the creation of the world. It's more about getting to know our characters, getting to be with them on their journeys and bring them to life. That race, as much of an adrenaline rush as it is to complete that race, all the practice and everything we did to get there, that's part of the fun of it. It's that day-to-day -day action. It's getting to do things with your friends. Maybe you're racing with a friend. Maybe you're learning a language with somebody in your family. Anything that we do, it's creating the memories and the moments along the way and then consistently making those steps and actions. Now, not everything we do is gonna have somebody else involved, but even in the writing process, something that is largely coming just from ourselves still involves other people. We have beta readers, critique partners, we maybe have agents and editors who are involved along the way. So even the things that we feel like, oh, well, I'm just doing that on my own and I'm fulfilled with it on my own, there's still other people involved. And along the way, all those interactions, all those quiet times where you're just working on your own and you're in the flow of getting that thing done, that is what really makes it special. And it is what makes achieving that goal even more meaningful. And it's all those small steps, those small actions that we do every day that actually leads to those big results. We become better writers. We become language lovers and fluent in different languages. We're able to raise, we're able to play this instrument now and bring joy to ourselves and possibly to others who may be listening to us. Those small actions going from nothing and taking that first step is what can trigger all the things to come and all those amazing places that we'll get to go. Another idea is that consistency over time can create a habit. And once a habit is built, it's much easier to maintain momentum within whatever that thing is. If you are learning an instrument, the more you practice and the more consistent you are with your practice, the easier it is to maintain momentum and then that will lead to greater and greater results. And eventually you'll achieve your true potential in playing that instrument because of being consistent, just picking it up every day and playing it for a little bit. You find the joy in the action of actually doing it every day. And you find the rewards of doing that every day by seeing how much you grow over time. 
and seeing that potential that you reach. So consistency and creating that habit of consistency makes it easier to continue to go and it doesn't set you back where every time you're picking up that instrument, every time you're getting your laptop to write, every time you're putting on your shoes to go out the door for a run, it's not so difficult. It's easy. It's a habit. It's easy to grab that laptop and start diving into your writing. It's easy to pick up that instrument and start playing because by this point, it feels strange not to. Once a habit is ingrained, you want to do it. You desire to do that thing more and more and more. And that is a special place to be in whatever you are doing because that desire to keep going is going to keep pushing you. And not every day are you going to want to do the thing that even is super important to you. And that's okay. We aren't always going to be able to do that. And we're not always going to want to. We may not be able to. We may be sick or have other things going on. But the point is creating that habit and trying to show up more often than not is what really can help you make a huge difference in your goals and in your dreams. Another thought around consistency is that it feeds who you are as a person and leads to you thinking of yourself in a certain way. You're not just someone who writes stories. You are a writer. You're not just someone who likes to play an instrument from time to time. You are a musician. It feeds your identity, what you think of yourself. And then that in turn kind of prompts you into a different type of lifestyle that revolves around these things that you are consistent in. You will start tailoring things in your life to ensure that you are being consistent, that you are creating space for your writing or for your language learning or whatever goals or habits you're trying to do. You're actually creating that image in your mind of this is what I want, this is who I am, and I am reflecting that in my actions. And consistency can be that powerful to help set you up for success in those things and to even change how you are viewing yourself because of how much time and effort you're spending with those things that you enjoy learning and doing and how much fun and fulfillment you are actually getting from those things. So consistency really is powerful. It can literally change your perception of who you are and your life. It can even change who you want to spend time with because you may find yourself gravitating more towards people with those common interests of, as you so that you can work together to achieve those goals. It's very interesting how consistency can kind of touch various aspects of our identity and our life and how we kind of tailor who we are to become that thing that we want to be. Not just someone who likes to write, but an actual writer. And the last thing that I kind of wanted to cover in this video is the fact that consistency can be boosted by taking certain steps because sometimes it's hard to even get in that place of wanting to be consistent and having it feel natural to be consistent in whatever you are working on. But there's a couple of things and there's going to be more than this, but there's a couple of things that I'll cover now that can really boost your ability to be consistent. And one of those is by seeing how far you've come. And this is by tracking your progress. If you're tracking your progress and you're able to actually look back at the beginning to see where you started and all those places along the line that you have been progressing to, and you can look back along that and see, wow, I started here and now I'm here. I never thought I would make it this far. There is something incredibly powerful about that. And the more consistent you are, the more you track your progress, the more you see how far you've come, the more consistent you're going to want to be, the better you're going to get, and the more you're going to realize your potential in that thing that you are going for. Now you can track your progress using so many different methods. You may 
create check boxes that you tick off each day. You may want to use a calendar. If you're a writer, you may want to track word counts. If you're a person learning languages, you may want to track how much time you're spending with that language or different goals along the way, like you reading a book in that language or watching an entire show in that language. Just ways of measuring how far you're coming within whatever that is you're working on is incredibly powerful. So find something that works for you and run with it. Another way to boost your desire to be consistent is to challenge yourself. And you can do this by literally participating in challenges or by creating challenges for you and making sure that you're showing up and completing that challenge. If you're participating in challenges with other people, you have that kind of accountability there that will keep you going. They know what you have said you're going to do. And now you're just jumping in and doing that thing. And you have those people there to kind of support you and for you to support them in each of your endeavors that you're trying to succeed in. If you're wanting to just challenge yourself, you can do that by keeping track of what you're doing, trying to top your own scores, setting periods of time by which to accomplish things, and then seeing how much you can actually get done in that amount of time and seeing if you can do even more or at least meet that goal that you've set. Make it a game, make it fun, make it a challenge. And there's something about creating a challenge for yourself or participating in a challenge with other people that builds momentum and creates that desire to want to be consistent. So challenge yourself and see how far you can go. I hope some of these ideas and thoughts can kind of help you out as you are pursuing whatever endeavors you're trying to pursue as you're going after your dreams, as you're trying to accomplish any goals and habits that you've set out for yourself. I hope some of these can help you out and I hope that some elements of consistency can work for you and don't feel like you have to do something every single day. There is being consistent and then there is holding yourself to too high of a standard and feeling bad about yourself if you don't reach it. Be careful not to cross that line. Be consistent show up as much as you possibly can, but don't feel bad on those days that you can't. There are things that are going to come up. Life is going to happen. You're going to get sick. Other people are going to get sick. Things are going to just come up out of the blue that you've got to handle and deal with, and that's okay. But as much as you can show up, just try your best, and that's how you will reach your true potential, and that's how you will get to where you want to be. And now I'll kind of leave you with a quote, and this is a quote by Dwayne Johnson that really just applies to everything we've been talking about. He said, success isn't always about greatness. It's about consistency. Consistent hard work leads to success. Greatness will come. Thank you for spending this time with me. I appreciate you all so very much. And as always, remember to keep following your dreams and believing in the magic of this thing called life. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you again soon.